What's up you awesome people, it's Paul from Ecommerce Gold back with another comparison video for you and in this video I'm going to be looking at two of the most popular options when it comes to self-hosted e-commerce websites and they are of course OpenCart and WooCommerce which you probably got from the title of this video anyway. But I did want to compare these two because they're two of the most popular videos on my channel is my open cart review and my WooCommerce review. So I thought it'd make sense to compare these two in one video. So for this video, I'm going to look at six different things to give a good comparison between these two platforms. And they are the pricing, the features, the theme selection and customization, the support options that are available, the performance, and finally, how easy they are to use in general. So with the introduction out of the way, let's get into the video. So as I said, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the pricing of these two platforms, but there's not actually that much to talk about because both of these are open source pieces of software, which means they're actually free to use, but they're not free to run. And what I mean by this is, is you're going to have to buy your own hosting. And when you're just getting started with both these platforms, if you've got a small e-commerce business, you can generally get away with shared hosting, which costs from around about $5 a month. But as your e-commerce website starts to grow, you're probably going to have to upgrade to more e-commerce quality hosting. And if you're using certain payment gateways, this is going to have to be PCI compliant hosting. And this generally starts from around about $30 a month and can run up to $100, $200 a month, depending on how much you need in terms of server resources. So that is one thing you're going to have to be thinking about when using these platforms and potentially growing your e-commerce business is you are going to incur more costs on a monthly basis as you're going to need more and better requirements in terms of hosting but as for the software itself it is free to use for both of these pieces so that is pricing as I said there's not really much to talk about so the second thing is the features that both of these platforms offer and OpenCart is really feature rich for an open source piece of software. As you can see on the screen, it comes with lots of different features. And one of the ones that really does stand out for me and makes it a very popular e-commerce tool around the world is these two options here, that it's got multi-currency and multilingual built into the core software. This is something that on other pieces of software is a paid addition, whereas on OpenCart, this is all built into the core software. Absolutely fantastic feature to have. Plus, as you can see, there's just lots of different tools, and this is only a brief summary of what I managed to pull out. There's many more tools available within the OpenCart framework. It really is a very feature-rich piece of software, especially as it's open source. But you're not just limited to what with the standard e-commerce platform but you do get access to OpenCart's extension marketplace, which has over 400 additional extensions that you can install on your OpenCart website. Now, unfortunately, not all these are free to use. There are a lot of free options on there, but a majority of them are actually paid options, unfortunately. And even though they're not expensive, they can run up to around about $120, depending on the extension. But outside of OpenCart's extension marketplace, there's lots of independent developers who have actually made their own extensions, which you can actually install on OpenCart. So the actual amount of features that you can add to OpenCart is way more than the actual core marketplace. So there are lots of options to add different features and different functionality to your OpenCart store, which is a really useful feature. But what about WooCommerce? Well, from the get-go, as you can see on the screen, WooCommerce is a little bit light on features. And even though this initially looks like a bad thing, the reason for this is because WooCommerce is a plugin for the WordPress system, what it does is it just adds a basic shopping cart, which can then be customized using the plugin library. And the plugin library on WordPress is absolutely massive. I did a quick search with WooCommerce as the keyword, and it produced a search result of over 7,000 different plugins. That's incredible. And honestly, the amount of flexibility and variety of different e-commerce stores you can build with WordPress is incredible. You can build basic B2C, you can build B2B e-commerce stores, but then you can go into more specialist things such as subscription sites, membership sites, or even multi-vendor marketplaces. That's why WooCommerce is a really good option because it's just that core basic shopping cart that then you can go off and customize and add different functionality to make it suitable for you and your business. Now, when it comes to the plugin library, this is just the free plugins that are available. There's also a massive amount of paid plugins out there that add 
even more different types of functionality. You can buy these directly from the guys at WooCommerce or you can buy them from third party developers. And say so the amount of options when it comes to WooCommerce is incredible. And that's not even factoring in the other just general WordPress plugins that you can use that can also accentuate how good WooCommerce actually is. So when it comes to out of the box, OpenCart is the clear winner. It has far more features from the get-go, but the amount of features and functionality you can add to the site, OpenCart doesn't even come close to what you can do with WooCommerce. So it depends what you want from your website. If you want it just basically out of the box ready to go, then OpenCart is the better option. But if you want to really tweak and customize your store to make it exactly what you need, then I do have to give it to WooCommerce. So it depends, say, what you need for your business. So the third thing is theme selection and customization. And unfortunately, this is an area where OpenCart really isn't very strong. First thing is the theme selection is quite small. And the majority of themes are paid options through third-party marketplaces such as Theme Forest. There's not a massive amount of free themes are available. And this leads me on to the second thing, which is the customization. It's one thing that's really not great in OpenCart. Some of the premium themes such as Journal do have good theme customization options, but when it comes to a lot of the free themes and especially the standard theme that you get with OpenCart, theme customization is pretty much non-existent unless you know how to code. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by this. So we go into design, go into the theme editor, go into product and the product page. And as you can see, it brings up the code for the page. So unless you know how to code, you're not gonna be able to customize the look and feel of your page. This is really not great if you're new to building websites. It's really not a particularly user-friendly interface. There's no kind of live editor or drag and drop editor in the core WooCommerce. And if you do invest in a premium theme, say such as journal, you will get theme customization options, but it's still reasonably limited, especially when you compare it to other platforms because the theme developers can only introduce so much customization because they're limited by what the actual platform allows them to do. So let's look at what the theme selection and customization is like in WooCommerce. So just jump into my WooCommerce dashboard. And the first thing is the theme selection. There's a massive amount of themes you can choose from just in the free theme library, which is available through the WordPress dashboard. There's a thousand results with WooCommerce as a keyword. And then there is a massive amount of themes available from third party developers, either directly from them or through marketplaces such as the aforementioned theme forest. There's a massive amount of themes available. It's got the largest selection of any platform out there and it's backed up by really good theme customization options. But as with OpenCart, it does depend on the theme developer as to how many customization options you get. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into the theme customizer within WordPress. And what I've got installed is the storefront theme, which is the basic uh, WooCommerce theme that you get from the guys who developed WooCommerce. And as you can see, there's a massive amount of options that you've got when it comes to theme customization. You can go into all these settings and make lots of different changes to your website from the color to the fonts to the layout, different things like this. And another great thing about WooCommerce, well, WordPress in general on this one will come out of this editor, is the page builder option that you have because WordPress now has the Gutenberg page builder. And if you actually go into pages, I'll just show you what this is like. So we're going to add a new page and you can use this to build your home pages. There's blocks available that you can add to your website. And as you can see, these are the standard blocks available from WordPress. And there's a massive amount of different blocks in there. There's some from WooCommerce as well. And this allows you to build custom pages within your website. So you can build a custom home page, custom about me page. You can also add these customization options into your blog as well. When it comes to the actual layout of your product pages, this is quite limited and it's very much set by WooCommerce, but different themes do have different layout options, so it does depend on the theme. When it comes to theme selection and customization, it's really not close between the two platforms. WooCommerce is hands down the winner on this one. Not only does it have more themes available, the theme customization is better and it's also considerably easier than OpenCart as well. So on this one, WooCommerce is the clear winner. So the fourth thing is the support options that are available for you as the user. 
Now, unsurprisingly, with both these being open source e-commerce platforms, support options are pretty limited. You can contact both WooCommerce and OpenCart via email support tickets, but this isn't the same as the support options you get with like a fully hosted e-commerce platform where you have access to live chat and over the phone and things like that. But that's understandable because you're not actually paying the platforms to use their platform. But one of the things that is good with open source platforms is the amount of resources that are available online from independent people such as myself who write guides and things like that on how to use these platforms. Now, as WooCommerce and WordPress in general has got a far bigger user base, it's pretty understandable that the amount of resources available online is much greater. And there's many more guides and kind of how-to videos as to how to do things with WooCommerce than there is with OpenCart because the OpenCart user base is much smaller and there's much less demand for these kind of guides. So when it comes to the amount of resources and support available, it does just go to WooCommerce because there is more available online than there is with OpenCart, unfortunately. So the fifth thing is the performance of both these platforms and actually doing an accurate comparison on these is quite difficult because there's so many variables involved when it comes to self-hosted websites. Main one being hosting, obviously. A good quality host will perform really well. A bad quality host really won't perform that well. But with both platforms, things like theme selection and also the plugins slash extensions that are installed will also impact the performance of both of the respective platforms. But what I did to give you a kind of idea of how these platforms performed was, I created a demo website with demo content of WooCommerce and also one with OpenCart as well. And then what I did was I ran it through Pingdom speed test tool so you get an idea of what the performance is. And as you can see on screen, WooCommerce loaded in 0.95 seconds, which is actually really good, um, especially when you compare it to a lot of other e-commerce platforms out there. That's a really good performance benchmark. But OpenCart was the clear winner on this one, coming in at 0.37 seconds which is actually one of the fastest websites I've ever tested which is actually one of the fastest platforms I've ever tested but as I just mentioned there are so many variables involved with this that this is just kind of a guide as to how well these platforms perform. So the final section is how easy are these platforms to use and for me it comes down to three important sections when it comes to e-commerce. The first is how easy is it to get started and navigate your way around the platform. Second is how easy is it to manage your inventory and third is how easy is it to manage your orders. Now getting started with both these platforms does take a little bit of technical knowledge especially if your web host of choice doesn't install the platform for you. If you've got to install it yourself you're going to have to go through the setup procedure. Now there are one click install that do make this process very very simple but you're still going to need to understand how to use your hosting in order to get these installed and set up properly. Now, the majority of hosts have created their own guides to help you do this and there's lots of guides out there online as well which will go through the installation process of both platforms but it is a little bit more technically involved especially when you compare both these platforms to something like a fully hosted platform which is just a case of signing up. It is a little bit more technically involved but once you've installed the software what's it like to actually navigate around? So let's jump back into my computer and go through this. So OpenCart isn't too bad on navigation. It's got a pretty simple layout menu but one of the things I do find with OpenCart is the fact that there's certain things that aren't where you'd expect them to be. For example, payment gateways are buried under the extensions not under the system settings or things like sales where they would be on other platforms and it's just a general thing within open guys some things aren't where you'd expect them to be in comparison woocommerce has a very simple layout screen and for me it's the easier one of the two to get started with and get up to speed with quickly because the WordPress dashboard is very simple to use and even people who aren't experienced with WordPress will pick it up pretty quickly. And with WooCommerce, it installs these few sections here and there's very few options that you need to set up and understand in order to get WooCommerce up and running quickly. But what about when it comes to managing your inventory? Well, for me, WooCommerce is the winner on this one. And this is because if you go into OpenCart, go into catalog products and we'll add a new product, as you can see, there's lots of options available in this tab section. And this means it takes a while to go through it and actually get a product set up properly in OpenCart. And you need to go through it a few times, so you need to know where everything is in order to get your product set up properly. It's very easy to miss an important thing within OpenCart. WooCommerce doesn't have this problem. It's very simple. You go into products, we'll go and add new. And as you'll see, it's a single page layout. It's very short, it's very to the point, it's very easy to use, and it doesn't take a long time to get used to. 
But when it comes to other things with managing your inventory, one of the things that's really important to me is being able to bulk edit your products. In OpenCart, this really isn't very good because there's no actual bulk edit options. You can't come in and edit the quantity, edit the price quickly from the product overview screen. You have to actually go in and edit this on a product by product basis. If you've got a large product inventory, this could take you a lot of time, especially if you have new inventory coming in regularly. Whereas in WooCommerce, this really isn't an issue because you just go into the product overview menu and what you have is the quick edit option. And what this allows you to do is quickly update the price. You can update the SKU code. If you've got your inventory set to manage individually, you can also manage your inventory directly within this quick editor. It's a really useful tool and a really quick way to go in and edit your products. For me, when it comes to managing your inventory, WooCommerce is the much better out of the two. OpenCart just feels overcomplicated, but then limited in some areas, in my opinion. But what about managing your orders? Well, to be honest, this is something that neither platform does particularly well. They've both got their shortcomings. When you go into OpenCart, if you go down to sales, then you click on orders, what you'll see is one of the good things is you can print your order invoices and packing slips off directly from the order management page, but you can't update the status in bulk. You have to go in and do this on a product by product basis. Also, there's no option to export the order information via CSV format. If you want that, you're going to have to install an additional extension. So even though it's not bad, you can print the orders off and you can manage them directly from your dashboard. The fact that you have to update order statuses on an order by order basis is a really big letdown for me. With WooCommerce, it's kind of the flip of that because when you go into WooCommerce and you look at the orders, you can't actually print anything from the WordPress dashboard, you need to install an additional plugin to add this functionality. But what you can do is, is you can update the order statuses in bulk by using the drop down menus. But as with OpenCart, if you want to export this information via CSV format, you're going to have to install an additional plugin. There's not this functionality available in the core WooCommerce. So for this one, OpenCart slightly is the better option, but neither of them are particularly great in my opinion when it comes to order management. It does require the installation of like third party extensions or plugins to make this really work as it should from the get go. So my conclusion of these two platforms, which one is the better option? For me, WooCommerce does take this one because it's just in my opinion, generally easier to use than OpenCart. There's also much better options when it comes to theme selection and customization, and the amount of plugins that are available to add different amounts of functionality to WooCommerce is incredible and massively dwarfs the amount of options that are available for OpenCart. Also, just general ease of use, I think WooCommerce is a simpler interface and much easier to use than OpenCart. With OpenCart, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, but there's a few things that just make it not particularly easy to use and not user friendly. It just feels like you're gonna need the help of some kind of third party developer in order to be able to get the most out of the OpenCart platform. So even though it's aimed at people who are starting new e-commerce websites, I just don't think it's the better option out of the two. So my conclusion, WooCommerce is the better option. So there you go guys, there is my conclusion. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that like button because it really does help the channel out. Also, if you wanna see more e-commerce related content, consider hitting that subscribe button as well because I post videos on a weekly basis. So thank you so much for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. Stay awesome and I'll see you on the next video.